So here we are on the desktop of our Avid Media Composer connected to our Interplay environment. I've just launched the Venice client software and connected to one of the four channels that the Venice gives us. Opened up a project. So we're in ingest mode here and uh, we've got baseband video being fed into it. Uh, just on the left here I can select my output settings. So this is the file format that's going to be created. From the codec list here, you can see the list of Avid codecs that are supported in this workflow. Selected DNX 185 with 24-bit audio. And just going to give this a clip name, which will be uh, added, or this will be a clip name within uh, the Avid environment as well. And we can give it a tape name, and as you can see, you can map the uh, additional columns and fields that will be added into Interplay and Media Compose as well. So here's our uh, Interplay database and we're going to select the location where this file is going to be checked into so incoming media in Venice if I hit record so as soon as we go into record within 80 frames I can see this clip within the Avid environment so this is access if I do a quick search for anything in the last 10 minutes and it shows that one clip if I load that clip up and have a look at the file locations it just shows that we are writing directly to the Avid ISIS workspace and then at the bottom here, it shows a little cut-off uh, clip icon, meaning it's a growing clip in the Avid world. So within the Interplay window within Media Composer, do the same search, and it comes up the same clip. I can load that straight into my uh, viewer. In here, I can scrub and play JKL clip as normal, as you'd expect. Um, but this is still a growing file, so if we go off the end of the clip in the future, it says Capture in Progress. Going to go back to where there's pictures already and sort of do a regular mark in, mark out, and start to edit this uh, as needed. So I can just create a new sequence here and do mark in, mark out, and just add that to the timeline. So it's just a normal, regular clip uh, as far as the editors are concerned. I can drag it into the bin, and you can see it's a growing clip as as before. So that's. Uh, Media Composer. So if we have a look at uh, Media Central web interface, the lightweight HTML5 page, and look for that clip within the Venice incoming media bin. Again, I can load that up. So that's playing a low-res proxy, which, been, which is being made on the fly, reading from the DNX185 media. So if I stop the ingest and go back into Media Composer and just update that bin from Interplay, you can see that uh, the clip becomes a regular clip within uh, Interplay. So if we just uh, open up Media Composer here and show a sequence which I've created uh, from the media uh, as before. So this is the Outgest workflow. Um, so if I've got my sequence and I select Export on AAF, just a regular AAF, no media. If I select the location being the Venice volume, uh, so this is the internal storage on the Venice, and you can see it's just a regular AAF exports that. Now that Media Composer can carry on editing as normal, but if I go to the Spicer software, locate that AAF, which is here, and then uh, another location on the, the Venice, an output location where I want the final file to be, you can see as soon as I drag it to that location, it's trans-wrapping. So what that's doing is gathering up all the Atom uh, MXF files into a single OP1A MXF file away from the editor so they can carry on working and Spicer's doing the sort of the trans wrapping all the hard work. So then if I go back into um, our Venice uh, and switch it into play out mode you can see the play at the top. Locate that um, OP1A self-contained file which is here the MXF I can load that up into the player and play that out via baseband video. Um, you can have lots of other workflows as well.